Hi everyone, Rivers here, and this is the Minix Neo X5, sometimes called an Android Mini PC. It's a tiny set-top box that runs the Android operating system. It's used as a media player for your big screen TV or computer monitor. This can make your regular TV into a smart TV, and your smart TV even smarter. You can run Android apps, surf the web, play games, watch movies, or stream video from your phone. You can do all this from the comfort of your couch. The Minix Neo X5 could also be used as a computer by simply adding a keyboard and mouse. The X5 has many different ports so that you can hook up different peripherals depending on your needs. Here on the back you've got your recovery button, your HDMI port, your optical audio out, two full-size USB ports, your Ethernet port, and your power port. On the right side you've got even more useful ports. You've got your power button, headphone jack, microphone jack, another full-size USB port, your SD card slot, and your OTG port used for updating the Neo X5. The X5 also includes a basic IR remote control. This can be used with a special launcher that's installed to navigate by toggling. This works great for photo slideshows or navigating multimedia programs like XBMC. For more complicated applications, Minix sells an RF Air Mouse remote that uses motion sensors to control the mouse pointer on the screen. This makes it much easier to navigate. And it comes with a full keyboard for typing longer searches. This will come in handy if you're using apps that do a lot of typing like Facebook or emails. There are actually many different remotes that also work with the X5. Just plug in the USB RF adapter and you're ready to go. Some of these don't have keyboards but instead use the included on-screen keyboard. You can use either a remote, a wireless or wired mouse, or in some cases even a smartphone to control the Minix X5. The Minix Neo X5 takes regular SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. It also supports external USB hard drives including USB powered drives. Just attach a wireless keyboard and mouse and you can use it as a mini computer. Android has several applications that are similar to MS Office such as Office Suite Pro and Quick Office. Also included is an optical audio out port which uses light to carry the digital signal to an audio processor or soundbar. This basically eliminates any electronic interference. In short, it sounds really good. It's also got support for select webcams. This is useful for using apps like Skype so you can talk to friends around the world. Google Play is fully working on the Neo X5. There are thousands and thousands of apps to choose from, much more than are available on Google TV, which has a pretty limited selection. To install an app, simply find the app you want, choose Install, and after the install process, you can drag the app to wherever you want. Have you ever tried to surf the web on your big screen TV? Usually it doesn't work that well, but it's surprisingly easy on the X5. Just use the Air Mouse Remote and surf just like you're on your computer, except you're sitting on your couch. The browser behaves just like you're using your smartphone, so you just click and drag where you want to go. The right click button takes you back. It's actually really easy to use. The X5 was built to play video, so surfing YouTube is no problem. It's about as easy as it is from a computer. You can also use XBMC, which is a media center app to play your movie collection. There are also plugins for watching internet videos available in XBMC. There are lots of other video apps available from Google Play as well, like Netflix, Vimeo, Arcos Video Player, just to name a few. Here's a really cool app called Floating Video Player. You basically start your video and then you can open other apps and have a window floating on top of it with your video playing. This is nice so you can watch a video while you're surfing the net or reading your news. And if you want to go full screen at any point, you can. You can also plug in a console controller and play select games that have support for controllers. More and more games will come with controller support as Android increases its focus on games. The X5 uses a quad-core GPU so the graphics on it are very good. You can also play some games that would use a touchscreen by using the mouse connected to your Android mini PC. A lot of the popular games by big developers seem to work really well on here. Not all touchscreen games are supported. However, there are third-party apps like Six Axis Controller that help support a wider range of games and also include support for Bluetooth controllers. One of my favorite things that you can do with the Neo X5 is send a video from your smartphone to play on your big screen TV. 
All you need is to be on the same Wi-Fi network and you'll need a sharing app like iMediaShare. When you find a video that you want to share, just choose the share icon on your screen. This also works on Apple devices. Just enable AirPlay and you'll see an AirPlay icon on videos. Press it and you can send them to your Android TV as well. I think this is a great way to share videos without having to all crowd around one small device. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put links to all the hardware and software from the video in the description down below. Thanks everyone for watching and have a great day.